Aeromax King of Heaven's Tournament. This is Blee Blee Blee, and he's Bubba the Love Fudge, and <laughs> that was a joke. But not a joke is this match. I think this is a first time ever. Oh my... Uh, this is just a waste of my time. What do you mean? It's El Jefe and Lamarome. He's slowly coming back. Seriously, this is a waste of my time. Listen, I'm actually excited about this match. Where'd the stick come in your butt from? <laughs> no, please don't. El Jefe, finally back from hell, and as it turns out... Matt Icorn from the future was pretending to be him Wait, all last year. How do we know if it's real? That's a good point. And here comes the... I, I heard from on the news that there were two El Jefes. There was. You were in the hospital when it happened. It was really weird. But how can you say this is a waste of your time? This is a huge match. Lamarell McDaniel's a beast. Even if he did lose to Skippy Pearls. In relatively short fashion. Well, it's still a waste of my time. But El Jefe! Just get used to it! I don't think I can get used to you being angry all the time. You're gonna have to. Well, well then why... Or else I'm gonna knock you out. Wow. Don't do that. Explain to me why a match between a former world champion and El Jefe and the longest reigning intercontinental, most dominant intercontinental champion in Lamorel is a waste of your time. Cuz. I don't know... First of all, they're both heels. Sec second of all... Well, heel is an opinion. And second of all... How do I know that... El Heavy can't be a how heel. Do I, how do I know that El, this El Heavy... Is the real one? You can't. No, El Heavy came from the underworld slash the nether. I can't really tell you if this is El Heavy corn or the nether Heavy. All I can tell you is he went to Long John Silver's, so he is not a heel. If anyone's a heel right now, it's you. For being so disrespectful to two impressive ta- Oh, crap. Two- How else do I say it without sounding like Don Bronchitis? Two great talents. And Lamarell McDaniel and Al Hefe. Two great impressive talents. Do not even- He'll start coming over. Don't do that. Oh, man. Nice slam suplex. I want him to come over. And annoy you. Lamorel McDaniel trying to get back in the groove after his somewhat embarrassing loss to Skippy Pearls at Germania. Which is your reason for apparently hating him. Yeah, this match is not very impressive talented. That's one man's opinion. And another man. Remember this fact, people. On the next commercial, this fact will be showing. One man <laughs> Oh, is it is it like WWE did you know? Yeah. We need to start doing those. I gotta go talk to uh GM Frollo about that. What the? F when did Frollo become the GM? You missed everything because you were knocked unconscious. There's a lot of changes going on, including the signing of Lamorel's girlfriend, Ginger. And, She'll be starting in the Genius Division. And the fact that I don't know if he's from the Nether or not. I, I'm going to assume he's from the Nether because the uh, fake ha icorn di er, Hefe disappeared. I'm not sure if he's dead or went back to his own time, but. I'm fairly certain this is the genuine artifact. El Jefe. And you're hating on him because you're not sure if he's real. Which is understandable, but you're acting like a dick. No, I'm not. A bear hug applied to Lamarum and Daniel. Are. Well, no, I'm not. Lamarum and Daniel now in control. Because you are. You're cheering for bad people. Like... You were cheering for Michael Cole because he's awesome like that. Michael Cole is the worst person. How ever. come he won to Hunter's? I power? have no response to that question at this moment. Give me a response. Maybe later. All I can say at this point is that this is a match between two of Jeremax's biggest stars, and you're calling it unimportant. It is. Oh, waste of my time. It's unimportant. Oh, yeah, because we should totally... I'd rather be in my lunch break right we now. We should book Jeremax speak based on what you find important, right? I'd rather... Okay, I'm going on my lunch break after it... this. We don't get lunch breaks, Blee. Well, how come I do? Because you made it up. Lamero McDaniel now. Frollo. Oh, here we go. This can't be uninteresting. It's the Lamero bomb. Lamero. Bam. Very 
very impressive maneuver, and it's, wow, not over. That's the resiliency of El Jefe. He gets El Jefe's from the nether. No, he was just sent to hell, and now he's back. It's not like he comes from there. He comes from Cuba. There were two of them. He's from Cuba. Two of them. The other one was Matt Icorn. How do you know? Another, because he admitted he was from a different timeline. None of them came from hell. One's from Cuba, one's from on Hawaii. Oh, man. What do you mean by you and Hawaii? El Jefe still in this. Oh, in Hawaii. Hefe beat Otunga in the qualifying rounds to get to this first round matchup. Yeah, I heard that. Savat kick vintage Hefe. Yeah, I heard the first about the first part. Oh, man, nice belly to belly. David A-list Otunga. Ah, uh, all the David. best to Otunga and one-third of our women's champion... Uh, Jennifer Hudson for yeah, the tragedies they've had to deal with over the past weeks. So I'm glad justice was served. I'm sure Judge Claude Frollo would have gave the same decision. Getting back to the match, Lamero bomb. Oh, Boom. Oh, you know what happened to me? You got knocked out and now you're an idiot. No. He technically just made a little crack in my skull. That might explain a lot. But here we see the replay. Unfortunately for F.A., he will not be King of Heavens. Despite what Blee said, it was a great match back and forth. Two very impressive talents. Not a waste of anyone's time. Lamar McDaniel, though. was a waste of my time. Slowly redeeming himself after his loss at Germania with a huge win over a huge man. Okay, I guess we'll be right back. I guess. Okay, we're back. And as we can see, Lamar McDaniel stops El Jefe in his tracks to move on to the quarterfinals of this tournament. But remember, the winner gets a t world title match at Black Hole. Oh, boy. The one who unmasked. Uh, you know what? It was the Crippler, technically, if you want to get official. But unlike you, I'm not going to say the match is a waste of my time, even if I think it is. Even if I'm not a, the biggest fan of Steven Sprider. Well, you used to be when you were unmasked. Oh, shut up. Here comes the European oh, champion. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Here comes the European champion, Dorf Ligleton. No, he's not. Peepee Man retired. Thank God. I wanted to hear that from you. Yeah. Nobody's complaining but you. I bet you did. Here comes... Steven Spryder. dark horse. I like it. I gave it to him. I should be getting royalties. I'm not sure how I feel about Steven Spryder. Do you, do you want to marry him? <laughs> Admittedly, maybe I did at one point, but I was really in character. What? Steven Spryder now. Wait, you married him? No. No. You said you might have. I was fully committed to my character at the time. You cannot blame me for that. Dorf Legleton, though, at Jeremania, getting his first title in over two years when he won that four-way for the European how title. How long have we been... How long have we been in break? Two years? Well, no, he just hadn't won a title in two years. How many? How many? He's been in break for like a month. It's like, okay, guys, here's the, here's the qualifying rounds. And we're like a week away from May 19th, and... We still have an entire tournament to finish before then, so you guys are going to be getting a lot of Jeremax vids in the coming week, if you like it or not. What, well, too, so it's too bad for you. Or as for please. You, so, for too bad for you if you don't like toilets. If you do, just buy one of ours. I think we should move on to urinals. I think we're big boys now. But that's right, we're going to send a lot of vids coming your way with a very impressive power mom, but a rope break. He wasn't near the ropes. Yeah, he was. Oh, don't you even start siding with the refs now. Yeah, I'm siding with the refs and Steven Spread. You know what? He wasn't near the ropes, and I'm going to use... He was completely near the ropes. I'm going to use your new catchphrase. Okay, Deal this, with it. This is the rope, and this is his foot. It was, it was like this. Yeah, I'm sure it was. I saw it! I s you were too busy. I took a picture of it for proof. Just in case we had this argument? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, that's a picture of PB. Hopefully. So, Punches on the outside. Dorf Legleton, very aggressive. Steven Spider, I mean... 
I'm not <laughs> Steven Spider. He beat me, so I I mean he proved Literally. himself. Oh wait a minute. Whoa! He's awesome! He's so awesome! Really? You beat him. I remember that. I know. He's got he's were got you, a long way to go. Were you happy about that? At the time I was, but now I kinda don't like you, so I'm kinda siding with Spider. Which is weird. What the flop, indeed! <laughs> Dorf Legleton now in control of the elbow to the head. Dorf Legleton sporting some new tights. I guess he got a big paycheck winning that European title. Can I rip those off? Fun fact, Steven Spider actually from Europe. He is from the United Kingdom. Britain, whatever, roll up. Is it over? Uno, dos. No, I said Europe, not, not Mac, not like a Hispanic <laughs> country, although I guess Spain is in Europe, I think. Dorf going to the no, top. It's in Africa. Sp Spain is not in Africa, Blee. Yeah, it is. Now going for but submission Paris. wrestling. Okay, then how come Paris is in Africa? Paris is in France, which is in Europe. And Europe is in. And Europe is inside the world. And the world is inside the solar system. And the solar system inside the galaxy. And the galaxy inside of the universe. The WWE universe? No. Oh, thought we'd get some support. Oh, uh, we get. Um, that usually gets a cheap pop. I don't know why it didn't work. Hold on, hold on. We for that we just get three views. Yeah, <laughs> that's more than plenty for me. Oh uh, wait, now we have one million. I wish. No, I'm not kidding. Look. We need all the views we can get at this point. Wait, this is gonna be a count out if Sparta doesn't get in the ring with the cantaloupe kid. Wait. Oh yeah, he's the cantaloupe. Guess that means he's made out of cantaloupe. He is. Guess there's a lot of cantaloupe in Europe. Come on, where's the cantaloupe kick? I'm sure if we had an an African championship, that would be that wouldn't go over very well. Oh, oh, oh! Cantaloupe kick! And boom goes the dynamite. Sorry, Spider, you kind of deserve it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't not deserve it. Oh, all right. I guess he's just gonna finish him off double tap. With that second kind of low kick. Yeah. Why hasn't anybody been doing any dirty Texas match? Oh, come on! He doesn't deserve this. Yeah, A third kind of low kick. Yeah, he does. No, he don't! Come on, it's over! Yeah, he does. It's over. Dorf's just... Dorf clearly sending a message to... Spryder. Enough! Come on! I mean, I'm not a big Spryder fan, but... And now he's mocking him as he beats him, insult to injury, and you're loving this. You're, like, shaking with excitement right now. Well, I'm drinking Sprite. Oh, come on! Dorf is just being a jerk. What? I'm drinking Sprite. He sold it to me! Yeah, you better. Dorf Legleton, that could have ended, like, at least a minute ago. Is he in front of that post? For, let's not point out our flaws right now, as we watch, gotta be like the fifth or sixth cantaloupe kick, Dorf Legolden just m mouthing off at Spider for no reason. That title is gone to- Like I hate you! Everybody hates you. Well, Dorf Legolden moves on. I honestly, I don't know what to think since Michael Cole won. Cole becomes the champion. If that happens, I will quit my job at life. So you're just gonna kill yourself. Yeah. I didn't say that. We will be right back. Sign him out, Blake. Yeah. Yeah?